A bizarre incident occurred in an English city. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the sea virus a mutagenic toxin created by the in You want to know who you're working for? There's nothing in it for me, sure. They wanted me to fucking switch on the Russians, and I did do that. If you give us the names, right now, you can uh, double agent for us. Viper boy, are you okay? They've nothing on me, they've nothing on me. What the fuck? Listen, can we meet up very soon in a cinematic clandestine fashion? Stand by, all crew, aqua team. Suspect identified. So the cops said if I organized a meeting with the Russian, they'd let me go back to Mayo. And, uh, I didn't believe they'd let me go, so I, I sent a body double. Well, what's the story? I'm liking it. Put it there. <laughs> Stefan was a good guy. Fucking shame what happened to him. Right. Okay, okay. Ham and the five sisters. Move show on, them mate. the love, show Move, them the love. Mate, show them the fuck love. off. Show them, the, show them the love, show them the love. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hands. Give us the chips and I. Are you staying around for stronger now? If you're not willing to fight. Your sacrifice. It's truly appreciated. Ooh. It's down, something's happened. It's ah. over. Ah. She's getting away! Yes. Mission accomplished. Good luck. Yeah. Fucking hell. Man's got no hands. That is London. If I knew I was going to be assassinated by Sani Man, I wouldn't send Stefan. Now he's gone. God rest his soul. I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Back in the safety and comfort of my home in Mayo. Baby cow going mad. Hello, Mr. Viperman. You can't get away from us that easy. You're coming back with me to Mother Russia. Your car? Sputnik, Sputnik. The Russians got me over here. They want me to be a propaganda tool. I'm not going to be doing that, okay? No way, no how. And, uh, I mean, yes, they've got a, a lot of strong military history that they want everybody to see. But I mean, that's not because they want to strike fear into anyone's hearts. How are you getting on? What's the story? Yeah. Alright. Your mother. Your mother. Right. My name is Sputnik Higgins and I'd like it to say that the Russian vaccination is the only way. It's a really good jab and I've been told to stress this is really my opinion, I'm not under duress. Russia has authority. I asked the French if the Russians don't like it. The Russian army is not good. We are easy to drive. We are easy to drive. We are easy to drive. We are easy to Shake that Sputnik in my arm. Shake your AstraZeneca up your arse. Brought to you by Sputnik Light. How are you keeping, Tom? Francis here. Just let you know I've been kidnapped and forced to make propaganda videos for Sputnik over in Russia. I have no wallet or way of getting home. You need to come over and help me, Tom, please. I'm going out there to rescue Francis. And I might do a little bit of business with the uh, Tommy kind as well. I always said traveling now is not just a thing you do, it's a state of mind. You know, you have to become one with the process and blend in. If you're airing out your book cuts, do it discreetly. And if somebody gives you a soft inflatable pillow, thank them. Thank you very much. Make sure your shoes are well protected against moisture, which may happen inside the glove box at the side of the plane where you put your stuff. A lovely bit of thermic arm out there, isn't it? Crazy bit of thermic. Crazy, crazy bit. Crazy bit of thermic. On arrival at Mashko Airport, I was collected by a Merkel-esque Victoria Wood type figure who placed me into the back of a black Mercedes. Could be a KGB scenario. Commander, Mr. Slug has arrived in Moscow. He plans to bring the useful idiot back to Ireland. He also planned to make business deal with crypto hackers and Edward Snowden. We will continue to monitor his location. Now, crazy bit of business. Hello. Хороший вопрос. Я играю на гитаре. It is. Меньше играть. Am I what? Ну, группа моя любимая Alter Bridge. Yeah, I'm in the apartment now. Can you send drink? Сейчас я тренируюсь. Good man yourself, Locker. We'll see you before we go and I'll lace your palm with rubles. Yeah, do it now. It'll become your ruble stilchkin up town. Когда? See you later, Ivan. Это было очень, очень... 
I had secured a bag of cans, and although I had to go and find Francis, I kept on getting sidetracked by crazy bits of business. Crazy bit of business. I'm here at the world famous Bolshoi, where the lads did the dancing back in the day. Far cry from the dance halls in Mayo. And here we have all the household names of the Bolshoi. It was the couple that shook the ballet world. Fanny Yabo and Ten Pekabo. They actually proposed to each other during a performance one night with the Bolshoi, which shocked the audience to its core. They got divorced then two weeks later on the same stage. Who could forget? Her corner quiet. You guessed it. Jimmy J7, the man in the cat's pajamas. She was the feistiest of all the feisters. An absolute Kim Kleister's. None other than Tatvana Kamkobak. It was the beastly torso of a Kapanku Mangambo, which made women go wild. There were even stories of jealousy emanating from the male audience members, so much so that one night at the Bolshoi, a man stood up and shouted loudly, stay away from my wife. He was ejected soon afterwards in Gulag, in Sligo. I mean, Siberia. Last but not least, the swan princess herself, Maya Polyshepsia. Grace, prowess, agility of a cat, mind of a woman, and an incredible constitution. She had the heart of an old pony, and the tenacity of an ass. Commander, the useful idiot is currently looking to rendezvous with his uncle in Red Square. He looks stupid and confused. Nephew! Nephew! Francis! Nephew! Francis! Nephew! Nephew! Francis! What's the story? Are you well? Tommy. There's a mighty old city all together. It's fantastic. I've no Sputnik and I'm being sent around on a fucking wild goose chase by the Russians to do some propaganda messages. <laughs> I'm going out to a, a war museum in a bit now. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Going around museums and shit. But I'm going to be meeting a rapper later on and we're going fucking partying. It's going to be class. Wait, 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 what's that about there? Why'd you keep doing I don't know. I bought a fucking SIM card, Tom, and every time that, that fucking bell clinks, I have to do that. I don't know why. I need to go see someone. You need to go to a psychologist or something like that. But I can't speak Russian. Look, I have to be going. I have a flight booked for us tomorrow. Yeah, you walk away. They should look. Thanks for nothing, Tom. Thanks for fucking nothing. See you later. Now that I knew Francis was safe and sound, I went for a cup of tea. I wondered what it would be like. Tommy, does the, the weather make you feel at home? It's beautiful. It's a home away from home. Even though I was thousands of miles away, the rain-sodden pavements reminded me of Wet Ireland. Sorry about the images. Well, I did a Google search for Wet Ireland, and that's what I got. Didn't have the north, sorry. We got out of the rain to have a cup of tea anyways, and you won't believe it. The Russians don't even use bags for their tea. Maybe it's just the way the Russians do tea. As you can see, there's a few little bitlets there inside the bottom of the cup. That's nothing too major, it's nothing too strenuous. Tommy's tea tips. Make sure to extend your baby finger, finger. like you're a princess or something. Finger. That way, people around you will know you've got decadence, style, elegance, tenacity, determination, and through grit. Wow. What? That's the nicest cup of tea I've ever made. That's the nicest. What? What? That's the nicest. Have you ever been to Galway? Uh, which way? Galway. It's a it's a place in Ireland. It's got a square like Red Square. It's called Air Square, and there's a Supermax there. What's the Supermax? Oh man, you've got a lot to learn, my friend. <laughs> Listen, Viper, I like you. Let me show you the city. Who's that lad, man? My man, that's Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky, is it? What was he like? Well, he's a bit moody, you know. One of the main villains.
buildings we have in Russia. Oh, wow. The Kremlin. Robo coffee! <laughs> what is this? Cappuccino regular, hot, please. Wow. Don't spill it. What is this? Go on. Go on. What is this? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> crazy bit of business. What is this? Robotic. We're headed to the Victory Museum now, which is a lovely display of all the tanks and guns and bombs and shoots that the, the Rushkins made back in the day when they were fighting off the evil old enemy known as the Nazis. I was 10 minutes late getting to the museum and the tour guide was not happy one bit. How are you getting on? What's the story? Uh, time is late, man. Listen, I'll throw you a few pounds later on for your troubles. Wow. Uh, the AM62. The AM62. Yeah. It's a sickening world that we live in, but it's incredible at the same time, the ingenuity that goes into the killing of other people. I've got something here. B-110 fighter designed by the Nazis in 1934 under the guidance of Willy Messerschmitt. Willy Messerschmitt was a fantastic exponent of aeronautical engineering and sadly, a Nazi collaborator. But he wasn't the only Willy on the battlefield. This is an interesting bit of business. You might not know it. These guys are the Willys Automobile model of 1942. There's nothing scarier than a sight than a fleet of Willys coming towards you at pace. If you're lucky enough to be behind the wheel of one of these Willys, you are known as the Willy Herald. This is basically a choo-choo train with a massive rocket cannon on it. Okay, this tour is over. Beautiful stuff. Thanks very much for the tour. I might as well keep the tour going for me. Easy bit of business. You'd have to be wearing the correct footwear as well. I'm wearing these soft slip-on shoes, you know. The Nazis would be hanging out doing their thing, and then all of a sudden this massive choo-choo would come around the corner. <laughs> See you later, Hitler. You bollocks. Oh yeah. Have you, can I have a coffee and a sandwich, please? Do you have the Killian M. Bappuccino? Got the cappuccino. Cappuccino would be lovely, yeah. Commander, Slug is over the Killian M. Bappuccino and is now meeting crypto anarchists. They plan to set up meet with Edward Snowden in Irish pub, Sally O'Brien. Don't worry, I will be monitoring. <laughs> Thank you very much. Давай, и... Раз, два, три. Оле! I was two handshakes away from Edward Snowden, who was going to send Tommy Coyne to the moon. The middleman was a fellow known as the Crypto Shaman. This was it. This was my time to sell Tommy Coyne. You'll be the man now to sort this out for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I have a fund that invests in, in cryptocurrencies, crypto assets. Well, oh, that's, 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 in, that's, that's, in, that's interesting now because I am looking for investments and investors in Tommy Coin. In Tommy Coin? Tell me more about Tommy Coin. Farmers in Ireland are not into crypto. I think I could change that and uh -huh. break the market. You could tell he was interested in the concept of Tommy Coin. But what was crypto all about? What's so, it all about? So crypto, it, it uses this computer structure called a blockchain, which allows you to uh, create something that doesn't have anybody in control of it. The software runs everything. My mind was going a mile a minute. Blockchain allows you to have a private key and a public key. A private key. But you can't lose the key, otherwise you'll never get the money. Where did you put the key into? It's, it's a cryptographic key, so it just basically is something you use to unlock your Bitcoin. Can I get a key off you, or what's the story? Uh, I keep it written down in a book. You have a written down key? Yeah. And how does that unlock a lock? The crypto shaman could sense I was out of my depth, but he still said he'd introduce me to Eddie Snowden, who was dropping in to Sally's for fine. Chillingly, when we reviewed the footage, it appeared Edward Snowden had been digitally scrubbed by Israeli spyware. Information which was relayed to me by the friendly Russian man I had met earlier on that night. I know everyone here, you want to talk to someone, talk to me. Crazy bit of stuff. As the nephew went on the piss, I decided to look for a bar that was shown the Belgian game. I had a filthy old spread bet on. We're spread bet on for the Belgian game anyway. Lukaku to score any time. 16 to 1. We need Russia to equalize now. No. Oh, yeah, the Russians couldn't do it, but I got steamed anyway. And isn't that the main thing? How 
Maria Francis, it's Tommy here. It's 6.30 in the morning and we have a flight in three hours. I hope you're not out on the piss still. It wasn't a bad trip after all, was it? Fucking wired, Tom. I haven't slept. I was on the MRNA all night. Well, at least we made the flight now and absolutely nothing can go wrong. What the fuck? Are you joking me? Come on, we swim home. <laughs> oh. What day is it? I don't know. Wednesday. Well, not Tuesday, actually, I think. I think the tide might be coming in. I don't even know where we are. I think that might be Finland over there or something. Where are you swimming? Hey, you need to head toward land there. <laughs>